Hi, I'm Paris, and welcome to another Fan Pick Friday. The product I'm reviewing today was chosen by viewers last Friday, and it's sort of topical. It's emergency food rations. Epic review guys. Now, this is really a topic I knew nothing about. I've picked up some maybe freeze-dried foods for camping trips before, but I really didn't know anything about long-term storage of food. I thought having some canned food on the shelves would be good enough. Turns out if you're serious about having food, if there's a real emergency for an extended period of time, that's not good enough. So I did some research and picked these three different types of foods you can get for emergency rations. They each have their strengths and weaknesses. They're also not inexpensive. Find out more about each of them at the links down below this video. As I mentioned, I've really never been any kind of a survivalist, though I did grow up a kid in the 60s and 70s fairly certain that there would be a nuclear war and I spent far too many hours thinking about how to save my family, survive the initial blast, what to do after that. And I think it's unfortunate that that sort of warped the psyche of my youth, but I made a conscious decision when I got older to live pretty much on the borderline between realist and optimist. But even the most optimistic of us have to be taken aback by all the natural disasters that seem to be going on right now, one right after another. Your first thought is, oh, those poor people, what can I do to help? Your second thought, though, may be, what if that happened here? How would I be able to take care of my family? FEMA recommends having three days worth of food and water as an emergency supply for your family, something that you can keep in the back of a closet. So what lets food spoil? Two things mostly, water and oxygen. So if you remove those from the food, you can have it last a long time, 20, 30, 40 years, if you keep it away from too much heat. So we're talking about freeze-dried foods where 97% of the moisture has been removed. And then those freeze-dried foods are stored in packaging that doesn't let oxygen come through. One of the best packaging options for that is Mylar. And even better is if inside the sealed Mylar packaging, you have an oxygen absorber to grab whatever oxygen might get through. The first long-term storage food I'll be trying out today is Wise Company Cheesy Lasagna. This has a seven-year shelf life. This pouch makes two servings and everything you need to make it is here except for hot water. So you need to provide the water, figure out how to get it hot. I've heard in real emergency situations, if you just add water to these types of packs, you have to wait longer, but it will still create a palatable food. So the downside is you do still need water with this and preferably hot water. The upside is it actually looks like food and maybe actually tastes like it too. This two serving six ounce pack goes for about $12. Next up are the survival tabs with a 25 year shelf life. Now the total contents of this, there are 12 tabs in here. This is supposed to be enough food for one day. And now even after eating all 12, it's less than 400 calories. It's supposed to keep up your electrolytes and basically it focuses on keeping your thinking going and your hand-eye coordination and so forth so you can continue to function. The survival tabs are meant to be taken one per hour for 12 hours while you're awake and two packages of this. So enough theoretically for two days goes for about $9. And these SOS emergency food rations are, I think, my favorite of the bunch. These look the most seriously like an emergency food supply. There are nine bars sealed up in the package. Each one's close to 400 calories. And this doesn't focus so much on giving you electrolytes. It just focuses on giving you something to eat. These have a five-year shelf life. And what I like is they're actually approved for emergency food use in life rafts and other situations. So if they get dropped into the salt water, if they're in the heat for a while and so forth, they should still be good. This 3,600 calorie pack, which is intended to get you through three days, goes for about $11.50. You can find out about all of these at the links down below this video. I'm off to get two cups of boiling water and I'll be right back to get this cheesy lasagna cooking. Yeah, so that's mylar lining here. This one does seal up, but I think that's just for while it's cooking. It's resealable. Oh, got to take this out. And as I mentioned, oxygen is the enemy of long-term storage of the food. This is an oxygen absorber. At first glance, it reminds me of a hamburger helper dried mix. It smells pretty good. Lots of good spices in it. There's 
There's some chunks of the seasoning that just sort of form the ball. I'm having to smash them. Now seal it up and give it 15 minutes to do its thing. Brought in a drink in case I need some help washing down these other two. While I'm waiting for this, I'm going to try a survival tab or two. That, that sound, that's the mylar tearing. So again, we have mylar to provide the long life. Keep out that oxygen. Kind of chalky looking. Let me give one a try. I don't know how to explain what it tastes like. Not great. Tastes like dried milk. Number one ingredient, non-fat dried milk solids. Mmm. They've taken that and then they've added some vitamins and minerals. That definitely calls for a tea chaser. These actually smell like kind of good cookies. Maybe since they can even survive floating out in salt water, they could call them sea biscuits. They're each individually wrapped, but not with any kind of serious wrapping, just like a little cellophane wrapping around each of the nine bars. Here's how it looks with the cellophane wrapper pulled away. Cookie might be a good dessert for the cheesy lasagna. This should be just about done. Okay. Like some kind of cookie. Like a very heavy and dense butter cookie. I like the fact that it's so dense it makes me feel like I'll actually feel full for a while after eating it. And for that reason, since I've got my cheesy lasagna yet to try, I'll save this for later. Dinner for two time. It's been just over 15 minutes. Much liquid is still floating around in here. Oh. I don't know if it needs more time or it's just meant to be this liquidy and runny. Seems the noodles all fell to the bottom and the sauce all came up to the top. That looks a little better. Now this does look cheesy lasagna-y. Noodles that didn't quite cook, still crunchy. Oh, there's more. I guess it needed more time. I would think with the nearly boiling water and the more than 15 minutes, would have been enough. It tastes like hamburger helper too. Need a tea chaser with that one too. Well, each of these long life emergency food rations has its place in terms of convenience, in terms of being more or less like food you're familiar with. But for me, what I would choose to stock up on are the SOS emergency rations. They really don't taste too bad. I could see even the kids being willing to eat them. They're intended to survive if the package gets wet, if it's in a life raft out in the ocean with the heat and so forth, they're intended to survive that. So I know a lot more about survival rations than I did a week ago, but there are lots of people who know far more than me. So if you have comments about these particular items or about emergency survival food in general, feel free to comment down below this video. Also, in the comments, let me know future products you'd be interested in seeing me review. I would never have thought to try emergency rations, so thanks to the viewer who suggested that. There will be a poll up here in the corner. If you click on that, you can tell me what you'd like to see next Friday. I'll give you several options. The one that gets the most votes, I'll be reviewing on Friday. You can keep checking back for that video, or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At every group you guys are gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our video.